Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on one type of logic gate called as XNOR gate. XNOR gate can also be abbreviated as EXNOR gate. XNOR gate is a special type of gate that can be used in the implementation of half adder, full adder, half subtractor and full subtractor. So because of that reason, we can say that XNOR gate is a special type of gate. Next one, XNOR gate can take n number of inputs that is n greater than or equal to 2 and it can produce only one output. That means it can take n inputs where n greater than or equal to 2 and it produces only one output. Next one, XNOR gate is the negation of XOR gate. XNOR gate is the negation or our complement of XOR gate. Next one, XNOR gate can be represented by using this symbol dot dot put in the circle. This symbol is used for representing the XNOR operation. Okay. Now, XNOR gate is shown in below figure. So, this is the XNOR gate. So, it can take two inputs. A and B are two inputs. These two inputs can be applied to the XNOR gate. Then, it can produce only one output. That is why y is equal to a exclusive not b. Okay. So, this is the symbol we have to use for XNOR operation. Next one. So, this is the truth table of exclusive NOR operation. So, here inputs are a and b. Output y is equal to a exclusive not b. Okay. Here, how many number of inputs we have to apply? That is equal to n is equal to 2 inputs are applied. How many number of input combinations are there? 2 power n number of input combinations are exist. That is n is equal to 2. That is 4 input combinations are possible. That are 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Okay. So now what is the output of uh, y is equal to a exclusive not b operation. Okay. So in the a exclusive not b operation, okay, if any input combination contains even number of ones, then the output is equal to 1. Otherwise, output is equal to 0. Okay. So here, by considering that is even number of ones are there. Okay, here this input combination contains two ones, so then the output is one. Okay, next in this input combination, it contains only a single one, one is a odd number, so then the output is equal to zero. Next, in this input combination, how many number of ones are there? Only single one. Single one is a odd number, so then the output is equal to zero. Okay. Next, both inputs are zeros, then the output is equal to one. Okay. So this is the exclusive not operation. To perform this operation, so this is the rule we have to apply. If input if input combination contains even number of ones, then output is equal to one even number of ones then output is equal to one if input combination contains odd number of ones then output is equal to zero here how many number of ones are there odd number of ones zero odd number of ones zero both are zeros then it contains output one okay so third one both inputs zero both inputs are 0, then output is equal to 1. Output is equal to 1. Okay. This rule is also applied. Now, observing the two input exclusive NOR gate 
and a two input exclusive OR gate, both are opposite to each other. So because of that reason, exclusive OR gate is the complement of exclusive OR gate. In the exclusive OR gate, what is the output? Here 0, here 0, here 1, here 1. So both are opposite of each other. So hence we can say that exclusive NOR gate is the complement of exclusive OR gate. Okay. Now this is the three input exclusive NOR gate. Here A, B, C are three inputs are applied to the exclusive NOR gate. We are uh, getting one output that is Y is equal to A exclusive NOR B, B exclusive NOR C. So this representation can also represented in this way. Here we have to use two exclusive NOR gates. First A and B are applied to one exclusive NOR gate. We are getting this output. Next the third variable can be applied to the another exclusive OR gate. One input is uh, input one input is the input variable C. Another input is the output of the first exclusive NOR gate. Then we are getting one output Y is equal to A exclusive NOR B exclusive NOR C. Okay. Now this is the truth table. So how many number of inputs are there? n is equal to 3. How many number of uh, input combinations are there? 2 power n. So 2 power n is equal to 2 power 3. That is 8 input combinations are there that are 0 to 7. So this is 0, 0, 0 to 1, 1, 1. That is 7. So here first under the first input variable 4 zeros, 4 ones we have to write. Under the second input variable 2 zeros, 2 ones, 2 zeros, 2 ones we have to write. Under third input variable, uh, alternative of zeros and ones we have to write. So in this way, we have to write eight input combinations. So then, uh, what is the output of a uh, three input exclusive NOR gate? Okay, three inputs are zero. Then all inputs, sorry, here both are all. All inputs are zeros. So then. Output is equal to 1. So output is equal to 1. Next one, the second input combination contains how many number of ones? Only single one. Single one is the odd number. Then the output is equal to 0. The third input combination contains The third input combination contains how many number of ones? Or number of ones, then output is equal to 0. Fourth input combination contains two ones, that is even number, so then output is equal to 1. Fourth input, com fifth input combination contains odd number of ones, the output is equal to 0. So next input combination contains even number of ones that is equal to 1. Next input combination contains even number of ones then output is equal to 1. Next input combination contains odd number of ones then the output is equal to 0. Okay. So this is the three input exclusive NOR gate and this is the logic diagram. This is the two input exclusive NOR gate. And this is the truth table. Okay, this is the introduction about the exclusive NOR gate. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please share this video to your friends and classmates. If you like this video, please uh, subscribe my channel named Dibbela Srinivasra. D I B B E L A S R I N I B A S A R A O. Okay. So thank you.